Hello, this is Mr. Ricardo again. This time I'm at Bargy Fresh Takeaway in Warrington. They kindly invited me in to video a few things being cooked. We're making a chicken madras, yeah? yeah. Uh, so the chef's put about like, three tablespoons of oil in yeah. and a good helping fresh of garlic. A fresh garlic. You don't use ginger in the, no, at this point, use, but it's in the base gravy. It's in the, all the base, like chicken, lamb, everything else is ginger garlic there. When I make my curry, it's all of this fresh garlic. Brilliant. It gives it more flavor. It's, it's, uh, so he's getting the, um, the garlic and he's, he's getting garlic almost to the point where it's um, very well done. Fenugreek leaves. A bit of salt, methy, kasuri methy, fenugreek mixed leaves. Powder. It's quite a lot of mixed powder you've got there. Yeah, well, wow. That's the madras. Right, and is that uh, standard chilli powder or is yeah. that extra hot? Standard. Standard. Yeah. So once that's done, okay. that's a tomato puree. Okay. And I use the lemon juice to give that tangy essence. Yep. Brilliant. Fresh coriander, of course. Yeah, fresh So he's going to cook out that paste really well. Yeah. Cook out the spices. Yeah. And in your mixed powder, what is it um, uh, the usual suspects? Turmeric, Turmeric cumin, paprika, coriander. Turmeric, coriander, paprika, garam masala, yep. holly, and the curry powder mixed together. Everything. Yep. The usual suspects, as you said. Yes. Absolutely. So my spice is burnt. Uh, when you say burnt, you mean cook, cooked cooked out. Because yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know some people are going to say, "Oh, he's yeah, burnt the spices." Yeah, so, he's so he's going to put some base gravy in. He's got it quite thin. Well, that's the full heat. Yeah, that's, that's the full, full heat. Yeah. Yep. Where it starts jumping everywhere. So the similar to get the flavour out. Yeah. Put it on low heat, so that's where the flavour comes out slowly over. Okay. And how long would you cook this for normally? Probably about say just over. Five, six minutes. Five, six minutes, okay. The reason I have my base slightly thin, yep. so I can put longer here, yep. and I can actually get the flavour out. Exactly. The thicker yep. the base is, <coughs> you're cooking the curry quicker, it just makes life easier for a chef, and the flavours are not there. No, I also I find the, the appearance as well, it goes a bit gloopy, doesn't it? Exactly. Yep. So Chef Abdul's making some pre-cooked chicken at the same time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they might find it's a bit noisy now. So I'm hoping the sound quality is okay. I do have a microphone attached. So sorry, as I was saying, the chef's um, just pre-cooking chicken, and he, he's going to par cook that in for this curry because yeah. it's just handy yeah. to do it. That way, he's put fresh in right now. My, my chicken's all, all fresh chicken, <coughs> not frozen or nothing. They're freshly, yeah, yeah they're freshly fresh cooked. The freshly cooked. So he's going to basically poaching that for a bit, and then he's going to put in the curry, Brilliant. which is which is turned down to give time, you know, yeah, for so that to, to happen. Otherwise, it would be on higher. higher Brilliant. So it's amazing the number of pans you've got up here. I mean, you know, it's, yeah, have we, you weekends. Uh, there's about 26, about 28 pounds. Well, I go through that 28 pounds about, say, 78 times on Saturday. Yeah? Yeah, I go through about, I wash that back so, and forth about six, seven so times. So, just, uh, I'll, I'll repeat that because yeah. it's interesting. And yeah. just in case you didn't hear, yeah. uh, Chef was saying that all these pounds he goes through about seven or eight times uh, on a busy night like Saturday, yeah. uh, which is saying something. That's incredible. And do you, uh, how do you recycle them? You just get somebody washing yeah, them up? Yeah, somebody washing them. Okay. So you've just given it a head start, haven't you, the yeah. chicken? And yeah. then you're going to finish it off in the, yeah, sure. in the, in the curry sauce. Great. The price of everything's gone up recently, oh, has it? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's probably gone up by 20%. That's a huge hit on your margins, yeah, isn't it? Up, 
bit more coriander. Yeah, I'm a coriander chef. I always say without coriander, the curry doesn't, it doesn't look nice. It doesn't <laughs> no. look appealing to you, like, no matter how no. nice you cook. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it looks, it looks really, really nice. Great. Really appealing. So these chefs turn the heat up back up now. Um, it's simmer away nicely. And he's just going to leave it for another yeah, couple of minutes. Just a couple of minutes, I'll get ready for you to in the pan. Brilliant. Right, we're ready to serve. Thank you. Oh, yeah, look at that sauce. Right. Steaming the way. The thickness of the curry is the more yeah, flavour it gets. Yes. The more longer you keep it in the cooker, the more flavour it gets. Yes, absolutely. Anything's better than watery curry. <laughs> yes, no, I agree. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. Right, here we go. Let's give this a taste. Right. Time to have a taste. Again, it's very hot. Be it's just been cooked, so... <laughs> I'm going to blow on it first. Give it a blow, people, please. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. Mm. Thank you very much. Our chicken is very tender. Yeah. Because just cook, cook fresh yeah, it tastes a bit better as well. So. Yeah. No, that's, 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 that's quite nice, that. Like that. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. you want a drink or a water? Uh, I'll have a glass of water if you don't mind. Yeah. So, thank you very much for watching. This is Misty Ricardo, <coughs> Richard Sace at the Bargy Fresh Takeaway in Warrington. And um, what we've just cooked is a chicken madras.